Yeah, and now we're talking about you know UK, a welterweight that fight that happened a week and a half ago, uh, Kel Brook uh, versus Amir Khan. Did you did you watch that fight? I, did, I didn't watch it. I okay. saw the highlights. So, from what I heard, uh, it was a really good fight, especially mm -hmm. from the beginning. But Kel Brook took it, basically had control over the whole fight. Like I said, mm -hmm. I didn't watch the fight. I just saw the highlights. But I mean. They both had a good run mm -hmm. in the sports, you yeah. know. But definitely, Mir Khan faced a lot of the best fighters. Mm -hmm. uh, Kel Brook took on some really good challenges, challenges that yeah. he didn't have to take, yeah. you know. And no one would have been mad at him. So yeah. He fought Triple G. He went up from one forty-seven to to one sixty. Yeah, so he didn't have to do that. Yeah, but like my respect to both of them. Yeah, I always think Kel Brook came out with the win, and for some reason they came, they come knocking. They say, you know what? He looked good enough to face a Virgil Ortiz. Would you take that that belt? Yeah, for sure. You know, I just don't want people saying that I'm cherry picking. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. older or whatever. I still yeah. think he's a good fighter. Yeah. But hey, if they want to make the fight happen, I'm down. I'm always down. Hey, yeah. Uh, now, obviously, another name from the UK that they mentioned is Connor Ben, uh, a good, exciting fighter out of UK. I'm um, obviously when they come over here, overseas to the states, sometimes they come up short. Do you think he has the goods to? to make a splash to make a name for himself over here yeah I, I believe so he's a I think that Conor Ben's a really good fighter actually he's very uh he's very explosive he's a he's an entertaining fighter um so that being said I don't really think that he has to worry about you know uh the home field advantage over here yeah. in the U.S. because he brings it 